Hi, I'm uh, James Skinner. Uh, I'm a former chairman of the New Economics Foundation and now Emeritus Trustee. I've been a trustee for about 20 years and uh, since very early days. And I'm over here because um, this, to me, is a very, very special occasion of, of the launch of the New Economics Institute, which uh, New Economics Foundation has been supporting and assisting as much as we possibly can over the last uh, two or three years. Uh, Explain what the New Economics Foundation is in Britain and why you felt it was important to collaborate with a similar organization in the United States. Well, the main purpose of what the New Economics Foundation is doing now is to try to uh, get across the message that there has to be a great transition from an unsustainable economy to a sustainable economy. And uh, we feel that this is something that can only be done at international level although national uh, movements are fundamental to that. But the, the, the prospect of the largest and most influential economy being influenced by an organization like NEF uh, in the United States is a very, very exciting one, and one which we have supported and backed uh, right from the start. And I feel that it, it's come at the right moment. It, uh, it, it's full of possibilities now for what can be done. Now, you've been working at, at this for a long time. What are your hopes for the next few years as a result of this sort of alliance? Well, I, I wouldn't perhaps put it in the way of hopes. Uh, I, my expectations are that there will be a, a further crises, um, getting probably worse, financial crises and crises of uh, depletion of resources, and uh, that this will call for new policies and that we should be... Uh, doing that contingency planning so that the people who are connected with New Economics in Institute and uh, New Economics uh, Foundation will have policies that have been thought through with a wide network of people who understand what we're trying to do, what the future can be. And I think uh, New Economics Institute will be a vitally important part of that process. What gets you up in the morning to do this stuff and why were you so excited to come to the United States for this uh, conference at Bard College? Well, I, uh, what gets me up in the morning, <laughs> as you say, is the thought that um, something has to be done because the, I read a lot uh, about the uh, <coughs> present state of affairs in the world. People like Lester Brown and uh, uh, <coughs> Callum Roberts on the marine resources and so on, uh, that you realize just how serious this is, uh, the situation. And uh, I just hope I live long enough to see the crises come because I shall be very excited to see what will happen. I, I, I know what ought to happen, at least I have some ideas about what ought to happen, but whether they will happen is uh, up to us, really. And what are those ideas about what ought to happen, just briefly? Well, I think, uh, first of all, monetary reform, and this is where you came in on James Robertson's book, which is just being published now. It, it came out in the United Kingdom about uh, two or three months ago. It's now being published in the United States. I very much hope that as many people as possible will read this because most people do not understand what the financial system is, what the monetary system is. Even Paul Krugman, the Nobel Laureate uh, Prize winner, uh, revealed recently that he does not understand that it is the private sector banks who create new money and inject it into the economy, first of all, in order to make a profit, and secondly, in the form of credit, both of which are extremely damaging. If you were to have an audience with millions of mainstream Americans for 30 seconds or a minute, what would you tell them to get them engaged? I think I'd tell them exactly that, because I think most people don't actually understand or realize that money is created by the private sector banking uh, organizations entirely for their own profit, uh, and it enters the economy in the form of credit, which is why everybody owes everybody and nobody can pay. Thank you, James Skinner, <coughs> trustee emeritus of the New Economics Foundation. Thank you.